Torrance, Wilmington area for three decades. A man tied to the Mexican mafia and murder that name Grajeda. And Chris Blatchford has the latest in this family album of crime. Daniel Grajeda, known as Peanut, enters the courtroom cuffed and waist chained. He's wearing an orange jail jumpsuit that marks him as a high risk inmate because of his family's extensive history with the Mexican mafia. Here at this Wilmington apartment building nearly two years ago, Peanut shot and killed a man for, as he saw it, disrespecting a relative's boyfriend. Shot twice and left for dead was 28-year-old Johnny Carbajal. Peanut's uncle, Sinon Grajeda, known as Chirilo, was also there. He, too, was convicted of murder last June. Sinon, a black hand prominently tattooed on his shoulder, is a validated member of the Mexican Mafia. Leo Duarte is a longtime gang specialist with the Department of Corrections. Uh, we're going back to, I would say, the early 80s that uh, they've been involved in uh, with the Mexican Mafia. And uh, I've tracked and monitored them for years. Chirilo, acting as his own attorney, gets his sentencing delayed until November. A term of 25 years to life. But his nephew, Peanut, gets consecutive sentences that amount to 62 years to life in prison. He will join his two uncles, Daniel Cuate Grajeda and Tomas Grajeda, known as Wino. Both members of the Mexican Mafia who are doing life without the possibility of parole. Also, his two Mafia associate cousins, Arthur Shady Grajeda, also doing life without, and three striker Thomas Little Wino Grajeda, who is doing 45 to life. The ruthless uh, murderer. Peanut makes no comment at his sentencing and is clearly following in the family's footsteps as he saunters out of the courtroom. A source close to the investigation tells us it is a safe bet that Daniel Peanut Grajeda will spend the rest of his life in prison. In Long Beach, Chris Blatchford, Fox 11 News.